Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Good and Geeky, and today we're looking at using automation with Sorted. This is the third in the series of videos about Sorted. And if you haven't seen the first two where I cover the basics, maybe you'd like to go and have a look at those now because there's some good stuff in there. If you like seeing tutorials about various applications for the iPad, iPhone, and the Mac, click on the subscribe button and also click on the bell so you get notified when there are new tutorials. Sorted supports the X Callbacks URL scheme, and you can use this on the Mac and also on the iOS. If you work regularly in another application on the drafts and you want to send text you've created in there to Sorted, you can use these strange looking URLs. And you can also use these URLs within shortcuts, which we will cover in another video. This is one of those strange looking URLs. It looks a bit daunting when you first look at it, but let's look at it closely and see what we've got. In the first one, we've got the actual sorted URL X callback thing with the actual command at the end of it. So after the last backslash where it says add and then there's a question mark, that is the command to add a task to sorted. The next part of it is where it says the title. So title equals name task. Now to do any of the other parameters after that, we need to put an ampersand before it. So we put ampersand list, which is the name of the parameter, followed by the name of the list, which in this case is writing. Then we're moving on to tags and we can put tags in there with drafts. And if we're putting more than one in there, then we want to do a comma in between the tags. Then we can put in the duration, which in this case is going to be 30, as in 30 minutes. And then we move on to the date. And again, as you can see there, we've got the ampersand in front of the word date to show that it's the start of a new parameter. So let's see how we're going to use one of these X callback URLs. Now, the first thing I recommend you do is go into the Get Actions directory on the Get Drafts website and look for one called Sorted Three Actions. And this is a set of actions. Started with Add to Sorted. We've got a few different ways of adding some different. Uh, uh, tasks to sorted and then we've got a few that to open them all the open ones work okay this one added sorted bulk that works okay as well and this one sorted is a basic one and then i made a change to it and added so that it worked on today so let's have a look at this one first of all so if you go to this one here and click on edit made by kj miller and the first part of it is a script which is in javascript and then the second part of it is our url which we're going to use and because we're using drafts, instead of putting the title in with actual sort of name of a title, we can actually use the first line of the draft to be the title. And to do that, we put in some uh, square brackets, followed by the word draft and some more square brackets. And that's done that job there. And then it's going to go into the list drafts, and then it's going to add a tag drafts, and then duration is going to be set for 30. So let's click off that now, and we'll go and do that. So we're going to double click on that there. And that's going to add that to sorted. And you can say sorted's come up there and it's ready to go. If we go into the lists and we'll see that in list for drafts, the uh, task that I just made there called new task is in there. And it's got the list in there, it's got the header in there, and it hasn't got any tags. Let's go back into this again and see why it hasn't got any tags. So let's go to this and go to edit. The reason it hasn't got any tags put in there is because we haven't got the S on the end of the word tags in there. That's the name of the thing that we need to put in there for the tags. So, and we'll run it again. So add to sorted, double click on it, and it's going to produce a new task in there. And let's close this one down. And the second one, that's new one, just come in there. This one, you can see it's got the tag in there. So if I double click on that, then you can see the tag draft has gone there as well. Now this second one here, I've made it so that it goes into the date of today. So let's edit this. And I've just made a couple of changes. So we've got the draft title being the first line of the thing again. This time it's going to go into the writing list. And the tags added are going to be drafts, writing. And then the duration is going to be 30 again. And then this time for date, we're using another thing that you can do from drafts, which is to use this word date. And it will put in the date in the ISO format. So now we have our actions sorted out. Let's get it started and run it. So I'm going to double click on it. So it ran, it added the new task into the sorted application, which is this one here. And if you double click on it, you can see that it's got the list in there, that uh, in the list in here, and it's put in the drafts and writing tags, and it's gone into the writing list. It's gone in for today's date, and it's given me the duration of 30 minutes. 
Perfect. In the next video, we're going to have a look at how we can use these X callback URLs in shortcuts and also how we can use the donated shortcuts from the sorted app. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now.